Amid the uncertainty in Kashmir, now the three most prominent politicians from the Valley, Mehbooba Mufti, Omar Abdullah and Sajad Lone, were placed under house arrest late on Sunday. Mobile internet has been blocked in many places and public meetings and rallies have been banned. The moves come at, at a time when the state has plunged into uncertainty amid a massive security build-up and government advisory asking pilgrims and tourists to leave Kashmir immediately. Jammu and Kashmir Governor Satyapal Malik held a meeting, a midnight meeting with Chief Secretary, advisors, DGP, ADG, IG, among others to review the situation. The development have triggered intense speculation about plans to modify the special status granted to the state under the constitution, a highly emotive issue linked to the rights of its residents. Well, uh, let's just take a look at some of the reactions. Now, former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, Omar Abdullah, tweeted just before he was placed under house arrest, I believe I'm being placed under house arrest from midnight tonight, and the process has already started for other mainstream leaders. No way of knowing if this is true, but if it is, then I'll see all of you on the other side of whatever is in store. Allah save us. Mehbooba Mufti also tweeted how ironic that elected representatives like us who fought for peace are under house arrest. The world watches as people and their voices are being muzzled in Jammu and Kashmir. The same Kashmir that chose a secular democratic India as facing oppression of unimaginable magnitude. Wake up India. Sajad Lone tweeted detained yet again, first detained in Delhi, then in Srinagar 1990. Those detention centers were very harsh. Our workers are being sought by the police. My prayers with them. And the reactions are coming from the opposition, from the Congress. P. Chidambaram tweeted, I had warned of a misadventure in Jammu and Kashmir. It seems the government is determined to embark upon one. The house arrest of Jammu and Kashmir leaders is a signal that the government will defy all democratic norms and principles to achieve its objectives. Uh, I condemn the house arrests before the day is over. We will know if there will be a major crisis in Jammu and Kashmir. Shashi Tharoor, uh, Congress leader, had also tweeted in reaction uh, to Omar Abdullah, what is going on in Jammu and Kashmir? Why would leaders be arrested overnight wh while having done no wrong? If Kashmiris are our citizens and their leaders are partners, surely the mainstream ones must be kept on board while we act against terrorists and separatists. If we alienate them, who's left? He also tweeted to Omar Abdullah that you're not alone. Every Indian Democrat will stand with the decent mainstream leaders in Kashmir as you face up to whatever the government has in store for our country. Parliament is still in session and our voices will not be stilled. All right, well, let's go across uh, to Neeta Sharma for uh, more. Neeta, tell us, what are you hearing at the moment? A lot is also being anticipated ahead of the cabinet meeting that has been called at the Prime Minister's residence. Yes, Gargi, uh, the CCS and the CCPA, these are the two meetings which will start at 9.30 at the Prime Minister's residence. All eyes are on that. Uh, you know, when I spoke to a couple of officers uh, about what all is going to be discussed in the CCS, they said, the stepped-up firing that has reached the artillery level in the least four sectors at the LOC and international border in Jammu and Kashmir would be discussed threadbare in Cabinet Committee of Security. Centre wants to prepare an effective strategy to deal with the current scenario in which Pakistan is trying to disturb the valley by sending more and more Fidayan groups. So this is the CCS agenda. As far as the CCPA is concerned, they would be taking in consideration remaining bills that need to be brought and passed in the parliament. Also, there is a school of thought which says that, you know, the house could be extended beyond August 7th, that is on for 8th or 9th. And why would the house be extended? If the government is planning to, you know, bring some new legislation, new amendments, which includes 35A, Article 35A or 370, or if or whether the government is going to take the parliament route. So these are all, you know, uh, discussions which might take place in CCPA also. However, Gargi, there is another, uh, you know, when, when I was speaking to these officers, they were also concerned about uh, Afghan in what is happening in Afghanistan also. So right. uh, the, the sense that I got was that with this, all the escalation and shelling also in, across LOC, India is trying to kill two birds with one stone. Internal politics strength they are showing by taking strong decisions demonstrated, which are being demonstrated on Kashmir 
and hard mess hard message also is being sent to the united states of america to get india on the afghan table so this is also very much on the agenda when the ccs and ccpa would be meeting to, uh, today at 9:30 right and neither but uh, the, you know will there be some sort of uh, information about what it is that's happening in the state what are you hearing on that we know uh, you know yesterday when these mainstream leaders were put under house arrest uh, that is an unprecedented uh, move that we've seen in the valley the governor held a midnight meeting and uh, for the moment for the people of kashmir and for uh, you know people uh, from kashmir who are in the rest of the country everybody is wondering what is happening over there uh, yes you know garya after this meeting apparently uh, there, there is a uh, you know there is a thought which the government says that they would be uh, informing the parliament about what is whatever is happening whether it's directly related to the you know house arrest of these leaders two of them who are the chief, former chief ministers of the state that is yet unknown but the government would be informing the parliament meanwhile gagi you know all communication lines as far as kashmir is concerned has been snapped whether it's internet services or whether it's broadband services or the landline services in fact you know the government of india right. also knew about that and that is why satellite phones have been given to some key officials in the state to keep in touch with the center 24/7